Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for choosing this video. In this tutorial plus DIY video, I'm gonna teach you how to create an office for less than a hundred dollars. You're gonna say, what? Yes guys, I recreated this whole office, correct? For less than a hundred dollars and it wasn't easy. It was little by little, which I set it up little by little I did it and so I want to show you how to do it and I'm gonna guide you to which store to buy and to find all these things that I bought correct to for me to create this this little space for myself um, um, for me to grow my business and also to work as a, my own boss in my own house so if you're thinking to do the same you have to see this video okay and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe also you in this channel you are going to find videos about tutorials DUI so how to manage your hair your natural hair and also motivation videos okay guys so come with me for i can show you quick um how to create this space for less than a hundred dollars <music> I am going to remodel my office using Dollar Tree items, right? For just a dollar. So stick with me for you can see everything that I'm gonna do <laughs> with this um, office, with this small office, right? Alrighty guys, so first I want to explain to you where I got this awesome table i got it at offer up a lady was selling it for 25 dollars, and then i purchased it only for 20 dollars. and it's solid wood i love it it used to be red and then i painted in white the only thing i'm missing is to paint the handles in gold for it could get a lot beautiful and then i put this paper on top for it could look even better it's like a it's, it's just a sticky, it's a sticky paper. Now I'm gonna choose one of these two and I'm gonna choose a darker color because I ha I bought some gold frames and I need to uh, make it extend out. And so choosing this dark color, it would definitely make what, I, what I'm looking for, to stand out the gold color. And so I'm gonna put this in the wall right behind the shelf and the desk. Bear with me guys, because <laughs> I need to do some measurements and while I'm doing this guys, let me tell you this was hard work. But I, I, I ended up having so much fun making this video for you guys. Okay guys, so like you see, I use three papers. At the end, you notice that it's not really a straight line. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna add another roll. And if you notice right here on the bottom, it's not done. I'm gonna add a filling with the same paper and you will see that, that that's not even going to show. It's really good paper. Um, also, the only thing I'm not done, and this office is uh, I need to take the bubble out the air for it could look really flat and and this will look like a real wood like I don't think nobody would notice that it's this is paper so <laughs> so it's a really great thing now this shelf guys I got it for free I offer up also these folders right I loved it because it's in gold and I got it at Bed Bath and Beyond and it cost me three dollars there were it, there was a special going on and I got a 20% off 
and then I also got the holder the one that is transparent also I got it for a special also this cabinet it cost me ten dollars I offer up and yes I purchased it I just need to paint it in white and the other one I got it for free right and so both of them I'm gonna paint it in white for it can match my table and the handles I'm gonna paint it in gold for it can look good guys you gotta see that picture I'm gonna post it in Instagram for you guys can see the difference so be sh make make sure to follow me on my Instagram because I'm gonna be posting what I have done and so this pay this tape is a double-sided tape and I bought it at Dollar Tree and this little frames I bought it at Walmart for 94 cents plus tax and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape the the tape right behind it and then I'm gonna stick it in my wall then this frame I got it at Dollar Tree I also bought this one as well and I really love it because they're black girls you know and I'm gonna stick it in my wall also I purchased this a long time ago in a different frame and I changed it to a family portrait correct like you see in my in your screen like you see in your screen I it used to be a sign a home sweet home sign but then I changed it to a Photoshop just like the mix styles you know the mix styles but in this in this case I paid only for one dollar then I got this at Dollar Tree correct but I'm gonna take out the the back part because I didn't like it and so I'm gonna use an old frame and an old frame that I I'm not even using and so I'm gonna get that the, the crystal right and and then I'm gonna glue it with the tape I'm gonna glue it and then voila I got a nice frame and this is really great for decoration now this teacup I found it also at Dollar Tree and I bought this a long time ago but the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this sticky letters that I bought also at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna stick it there you know to make a nice decoration right and also I bought this at Dollar Tree the ones that say Joy and also the one in the back um, also this basket also the um, this old frame is old so it's not from Dollar Tree and also the stapler is also from Dollar Tree the candle holder is from Bath and Body Beyond and this telephone I bought it for my wedding let me show you guys what I did with one of those frames I went to canvas.com right you could go to canvas.com to create posters like this right I use this fonts for free and I print it out and then I glue it then I inserted this inside the the frame so it's really nice guys um, just giving you an example if you don't like the actual sign from the frame you can make your own right for free <laughs> and so that's what I did and I really love it you see guys it looks super awesome the same thing I'm gonna do with this six frames I'm gonna go to canvas.com and I'm gonna create this um, positive frames positive letters to this actual frames and definitely you are going to love it at first I was gonna put stone but then I changed my mind and I left it in white right and so as you notice they're really nice and then I'm gonna stick it in my wall I took off the the, the, the actual crystal because I didn't want to make it too heavy and so it looks nice then I use the same tape that I bought at Dollar Tree and I glue it in my wall and look at that it looks super nice now to make something extra I use an old gold paper that I was not using and then I got the the case cover from Apple's headphones and then I make like pretty cute buttons that was will be called love and then I'm gonna glue it in my wall also using the double-sided tape that I bought a Dollar Tree and I'm gonna glue it in my wall you see guys it's totally different <laughs> okay so now you see I finished up with my wall those two frames I also bought it at Dollar Tree and the one in the bottom also 
where my husband and I are. The top, of the top one, my sister did it for me. And so there you go, I finish. Oh, in that calendar, I also bought it at Dollar Tree. And these, I got it in my kitchen. This one, I also got it in Dollar Tree. So guys, Dollar Tree for me is the best way, is the best store to buy things. Um, so this is the before, and now this is now. So it's kind of similar, but pretty not similar. All right, guys, so let me show you. Let me do a countdown on everything that I purchased. But you can see that it came down to at least a hundred dollars but I, I overspent too much but you don't have to do the same thing okay guys so you don't have to spend a, a little bit more over a hundred dollars you could spend less you don't have to put all these frames that I have in here I just so fanatic on frames because in each frame I put the things that I like to do <laughs> let me do a countdown okay so this desk right it cost me twenty dollars then on my file i spent ten dollars only the other one was free right so the paper the brown paper plus this one cost me a dollar each so i spent five dollars the calendar cost me a dollar in dollar tree the day cost me a dollar a dollar tree the two drinking um teacups cost me a dollar each so that's two dollars right there the letters that you notice that i put in each base cost me a dollar plus the tape that i used to in order to stick this in the wall cost me a dollar each as well so that's there that's another dollar plus the the candle holder that has the l cost me two dollars right that's that i bought that at beth bath and beyond and that was a special going on right because i i received 20 percent out of my purchase and and it went down to two dollars then the folder holder i also bought it at beth bath and beyond and it cost me two dollars as well for another special and the folders also cost me a total of three dollars right and it came i think it has 10 in the package and then the frames i bought 17 frames overall at dollar tree and you don't have to spend 17 dollars in frames right but i did spend 17 dollars you don't have to buy too much right um and then the little frames that you see right here that are for my so the la labeling my social media um it that can that also cost me uh 99 cents at walmart so that's another five dollars right there plus tax and the leaves uh, i bought it at walmart right i bought it at walmart and it only cost me i found it for 25 cents each of them right and so i bought two i think i bought more than that three but but i use it in another place in my house so that that is an overall of 28 dollars in overall that and everything that i just mentioned so you still have you still have more money in order for you to purchase more things right okay so the chair I received my chair for free and in offer up for free right but you could find if you don't find it for free you could get one for at least ten dollars in great condition so let me show you really quick and also the board um i i got it for free also somebody was gonna throw it away and i fought and i found it for free and you could get it if, if you don't find it for free at offer up you could also get it for ten dollars at walmart right and you still have more money there right you still have like um like at least eight dollars right eight dollars and fifty or eight dollars or something right um so and this lamp right here in the back right this lamp right here in the back i found it at walmart right at walmart for 15 dollars but you could also get it you could also find and offer up a similar lamp right and, and in in great conditions and and it will not cost you so much i can show you right now that you could get lamp for five dollars so 
seriously you could recreate your office for less than a hundred dollars is it worth it yes because you're gonna be creative is it a lot of work yes because you have to search and search and search right in order for you to get what you want but at the end you're gonna love it and you're gonna enjoy it so <laughs> i hope you love this video guys so please don't for don't leave before you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel there's more videos coming up and so i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep showing you and making more tutorials videos and making more motivation videos right guys using these um using these um with this frames called smile more have more faith dream big work hard stay positive plus make it happen so and, and also i did this one i really love which is called john 316 i love it and also i did this one well um, that i had a leaf on my house and i i had a leaf and i put it in there and and it looks really nice it looks awesome enjoy your space and i hope you like i hope you like my recreation you don't have to do it the same way i did but just to give you an example that you could do it yourself for less than a hundred dollars okay guys so i hope to see you on my next video ciao